Hi, I'm Barb and I'm Alex and we're Enchantarium. In today's video, we'll be making Regina the Pinup Girl as a part of a doll swap hosted by Retro Dolls US. For a little bit of context, I'd like to take a minute to discuss our doll schedule. Now that I have graduated and I am a certified scientist, for this occasion I have prepared some graphs. You see, the dolls we make aren't always posted in chronological order. This doll, Regina, was made back in January, but as the swap dolls have to arrive to their new home, usually across the world, we need to mix things up. Since we are here, I can also tease the next few upcoming videos. If you're in the doll realm of Instagram, you may have seen some photos of our swap dolls that are coming next. For this custom, we're going to use Apple White Doll from Ever After High series. We don't need this factory paint, so I'm removing it with pure acetone and cotton pads. We also don't need her original hair, so I'm cutting them as close to the head as possible. After separating her head from the body, I'm removing the rest of the hair with pliers and the scalp paint with acetone. This doll has a little scratch on her lips and I'm going to fix it with sandpaper. To reroute the doll, I will be using nylon hair in the color of Espresso. That's what it's called, don't come after me, coffee connoisseurs. I'm quickly brushing it out and having it twice. I painted the scalp with black acrylic paint and I'm going to plug the head bit by bit using my compass rear tool. I'm starting at the hairline and thickly plugging the part. Next, I fill in the rest of the holes. To set things in place, I'm pouring heat resistant glue through the neck hole and squish the head around so every plug is covered. This is my first time repainting a female Ever After High doll, so keep your fingers crossed. I'm starting with a sketch of eyes and eyebrows and drawing the first layer of red on her lips. Then I switch to black pencil to draw her eyeliner and irises. This time I'm going to focus on showing you how to make a smoky eye makeup. If you ask any face-up artist, they will tell you one word. Layers. I'm starting from the light brown pastel and keep building the color layer by layer. Don't skip the blending part, just move your brush in circular motion to blend the color with the skin. After a layer of MSC, I'm adding the second layer of pastels in darker shade starting from the corner of the eye. I'm also doing a fade on her brows, detailing the irises, adding the red waterline and adding more brown tones to the makeup. With the next layer of MSC, I'm adding a dark brown pastel to our smoky eye and keep blending it with the skin. She needs more white in the eyes and a more defined waterline. Painting the white spots always makes the eyes more real and the doll more alive. With a black pencil, I'm drawing her long lashes. I usually start the face up with blushing, but this time I forgot and I'm going to do it now. To enhance the lashes, I'm painting some white lines on them and then drawing a bold black cut eyeliner. The last thing is to make her lips glossy. As you may have noticed, there is no unboxing in this video. That's because we joined the swap as a replacement, meaning Juliette's partner couldn't finish their doll, so we filled in for them. We were on time crunch to get Regina done and shipped, so the clothes are made with a pattern from lovely Requiem Art Design. You have seen me use their patterns before, and I absolutely love them, hashtag not sponsored. That means there's no specific clothing tutorial, but I'll share some tips. What you just have seen me do is free check all of my pieces, and I'm going to show you how I gather my skirts. After hemming and prep, I sew a stitch close to the edge I'm going to be gathering. I use the longest stitch setting on my machine. I cut my threads long, so I can pull on them. You want to pull on the bobbin thread and the shot is not in focus. Pull until you get your desired length and tie the threads at the sides. I also like to press my gathers before I sew on a waistband, that way you can see where there's less creases and reposition them before you sew. 
Here I wanted to show you a nice detail that is going to make your garments less bulky. When you're hemming a joint piece, make sure to press your seam allowances so the thickness is a little bit more distributed and there's no visible lumps. It makes a big difference in doll sized garments. My favorite tip for adding snaps is to sew the male part to the dress and paint the tip with a fabric marker. Then close the garment like you would if both parts of the snap were in place. The marker is going to leave a mark on the other side, so you know how to position the female part of the snap. Sometimes the mark is faint, so you might want to repeat this once or twice, but the result is a perfectly closed piece of clothing. We're going to give Regina roller skates. I'm removing the wheels for now, so I can paint the shoes from all angles. I'm painting them red, white and black to match her outfit. I'm looking at some retro roller skates pictures on my computer for reference. They need some detailing like the silver rings and darker red for the shadows. We thought red gloves would be a nice accent, so I'm painting her hands red. The paint needs extra protection and I'm covering all painted surfaces with matte acrylic varnish. One thing I am going to show you from start to finish is Regina's headband. I totally eyeballed the shape and I wrapped the piece around her head to make sure there's enough. I fold the strip in half by the longer edge and then again in the other direction and I'm cutting this teardrop kinda shape. I'm going to sew this right sides together, leaving a gap in the middle, so I can turn it right sides out. Take your time with this step and push out all the creases. iron and run a stitch all around to close the gap and for aesthetic purposes. And you just tie it on the head. Time to play the hairdresser. The idea was to give her short wavy hair, but I failed to make waves on this doll, so I changed the concept for bold curls. I'm rolling the hair strands on the jumbo straws and securing them with bobby pins. I boy wash the hair to set the curls. Now that the hair has dried, I'm removing the pins and the straws, and the curls should be good to go. They require some brushing, cutting off the straight ends and styling. I felt like she wasn't pin up enough, so I gave her a beauty mark above her lips and cute and simple earrings made from rhinestones. I used the same rhinestones to decorate the roller skates. This is how she turned out. It completely wasn't our goal, but after we were done, we realized that she looks a lot like Snow White, who in the Ever After High show is the mother of Apple White, the doll we used for this custom. We would like to know if you have any feedback about our videos. Do you like them long or short? What kind of tutorials would you like to see in the future? Tell us in the comments down below. Make sure to follow us on Instagram for some sneak peeks and subscribe for future videos. Have an enchanted day and we'll see you next time. Bye!